Hey everyone, welcome to day three of this experiment of me streaming while cooking. Tonight we are going to make smothered and stuffed meatloaves by every plate. That's the current meal kit that I am testing out. We are going to try a few different ones. This one we're signed up for for three weeks, I think, because we get the discount for three or four weeks. So I'm going to keep it while we keep the discount and go from there and see what other one we want to do. This one we're currently getting five meals from. The other meal kit we currently use is called Local Basket in New Hampshire. That one has two meals that we get every week and I'm excited about those. We're, we have some really good ones that I'll talk about later but right now we're gonna make these smothered and stuffed meatloaves oh, with potato wedges. So I'm excited about that. Let's see, make sure we have all of our ingredients. Five Yukon Gold potatoes, green bell pepper, yellow onion, fry seasoning, white bread, also known as American bread, ground beef, shredded pepper jack, and Dijon mustard. And then it says what I'll need is vegetable oil, which I have on the back because I know that's going to be used for pouring into a pan to work on some of the veggies. Butter, I have that over there as well. Ketchup, I'm a Heinz girl. And brown sugar, which I still have some left from the other meal kit from a couple weeks ago that just hasn't made it to be integrated into our own brown sugar. Let's see. Ooh, I'm going to adjust my racks in my oven first. So let's get that done. They're not hot yet, don't need a pot holder. Let's see, medium and to top. The very top or like next to the top? That looks good. There we go. Got that in there. Preheat oven to 425. Ta-da! I've already got all the baking sheets out. I haven't gotten like bowls and things out yet if we need those, but those will be coming. We're gonna wash and dry all the produce. That's the first thing every time. So let's do that. I mean, you're not really washing. I guess you're you're washing them, but you're more rinsing them. And especially if you drop it on the floor, <laughs> you should rinse that off. Okay, got to dry them. I've learned the experience, of, especially of the <laughs> spinach, that you have to make sure it's dry, or else you're just going to be in for a very long time in a pan, and be like, why is it taking 40 minutes to make this when you know it says it's a 15 minute recipe. Let's see, let me get all the stuff off of the onion. Get that situated for us. I had a lot of excess of that. But, mm, I probably should be using a different knife, but I'm still learning the differences in knives. I just know I have my favorites and I don't really know like anything about them. Just chop the ends off. Makes it easier to peel this outer layer off. Sometimes the outer layer is, um, it doesn't separate well from the skin. So I don't usually use the very outer layer of the onion. How to usually score it better, which for some reason did not want to do that today. Come on, there we go. And sometimes like the outer skin will be like aged, have like big dents in it. And you don't want that necessarily in your, in your food. So I usually take just the whole entire outer thing off of the onion, the whole, that layer. Okay. Where are we? 
We're gonna do all of the produce getting ready first before we get anywhere else. So I have potatoes. I'm cutting into half inch thick wedges. I'm gonna half core and thinly slice the bell peppers into strips. I'm gonna do them thinner than I did the other day because I didn't do them thin enough and they some of them were very crunchy and have peel and thinly slice the onion. So I'm basically doing what I did last night for my other recipe, except for the wedges. So, these are really small potatoes, so that's good. They'll probably cook up really quickly versus a bigger potato. Uh, just so you know, I can't see the stream chat very well from where I am, but we did move my cool little camera doohickey so I can switch between cameras easier than I did last night. I had to keep going out of frame in order to get it to work. They show, they look like much bigger potatoes in the picture of the directions. So I've had multiple people ask me, you know, tell me I should put things into bowls in order to use them. I'm preferring not to just because part of the reason why I am evaluating these meal kits is to find out which one's more sustainable in the long run. And by producing more dishes, that means my dishwasher's on longer and it's, it's kind of counterproductive for the reason, part of the reason why I'm doing this um, and how I'm evaluating it. I do have several of these items are in prepackaged containers like you would get at a fast food restaurant. I usually eat a lot of fast food, so I've been trying to get away from that. So I'm not, I'm actually probably using less packets because they're only sending me exactly what I need instead of just throwing a ton in a bag and this has been my thing for a long while and I just every once in a while fall out of it especially if I'm depressed I can't keep up with my sustainability as a human being because my brain can't can barely function as a human let's see we got okay so here are all these all chopped up nice we're going to do this for the pepper. Actually, yeah, we're gonna put the potatoes over on the baking sheet real quick. I'll show you that there. So we're gonna put these here because we have to toss them with oil and do, um, but I wanna put the meat loaves and the potatoes in it around the same time versus doing them separately since they cook for approximately the same amount of time. But let's, I wanted to at least get them out of the way so they don't taste like onions and things like that. Okay. I do have to invest in a cutting board that's somewhere between this one and the next smaller one we have. It's just that little bit too big to fit in our dishwasher correctly. We have to put it crossways and then it's the only thing in the dishwasher. Hopefully I become a fan of peppers after this because this week and last week, let me get a smaller knife. This week and yesterday both had peppers in it. And I know that picking more Asian influenced items, I often run into peppers. I did not pick the stuffed pepper option. That was one of the things that I could have picked. Uh, I think it was last week or this week in the other meal kit. And if anybody has recommendations of which meal kits they enjoy, I really wanna try out a whole bunch. Uh, there was one I really wanted to try, but it's based in California and it's like the local basket here in New Hampshire. However, it's only uh, California, Oregon, and then some cities and towns like right along the border of California. So I can't get that here because that would defeat the purpose of it being a locally sourced product. 
Uh, this one is not locally sourced. It has all kinds of things. This one's actually a product of France for the Dijon mustard. Uh, there's also like this prepackaged bread. I'm sure they make it in house or something like that. You know, have some crazy co-packing thing because they're a huge company. I'm sure they have some stuff that they make instead of just buying little tiny packets in bulk. Though they buy in such bulk, I'm, it's cost effective. The shipping is actually... When you look at the shipping, it's actually not that bad for shipping costs. Shipping costs did go up this year. But when you ship Cubic, which is what most of the meal kits, I'm guessing, are doing, it is cheaper to mail something by Cubic measurements. So if you punch in your box and there's certain dimensions uh, that they like do some crazy math to figure out how big your box is in... Uh, in cubic inches they give you a really good deal I've shipped stuff that's definitely worthwhile to ship that way they do have a weight limit on that versus like that it fits at ships box but if you're mailing something that heavy that's that small fit it in that box because you can ship I think it's 70 pounds in a fits at ships box which is what do they call it uh flat rate shipping boxes now sorry I'm really picky about my peppers. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, I also forgot to mention on my um, social media that I'm doing this right now. So let me get that taken care of as well. While we're sitting here, I have to wait for the oven to preheat anyway. Let's see. Doo -doo. And if you don't follow me on social media, definitely do that. I am Upbeat Duck on YouTube and here on Twitch, and then I'm Muffin underscore Lives on Twitter and on uh, Instagram. That might be changing to Upbeat Duck, but as of right now, it's Muffin underscore Lives. Let's see, where is my Instagram? We're going to make this post. Do every plate next. Next. Smothered, smothered and stuffed meat loaves. Hashtag not spawns. Let's see, hashtag not sponge, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag um, meal mental health comes first. And I put one the other day, which was hmm, twitch.tv slash upbeat duck learning to cook learn to cook okay Let's see we'll do it to my Facebook my Twitter share Okay, now that's all taken care of. Got to get all that in. Let's thinly slice these. Let's see how thin I can go. Because yesterday was a, just that much too big that it was crunchy. And I don't really like peppers to begin with. But I really don't like them if they're not cooked. 
raw peppers are not as ideal <laughs> for me anyway. Yeah, that's a nice thin peppers. We're having peppers and onions, I guess, with these. With cheese on top. Yes, I know my knife skills need to get a little better, but as of right now, we're fine. That's not horrible. That one's a little weird, but I'll get it. I'll get this. I got I got home. I had to so my day to day was I slept in a little bit, which was nice. And then I went in to work for four hours um, to just kind of catch up on some things and do some things that just needed a little extra TLC. And then I had to come home and go to the vet <laughs> to bring my dog to the vet because he has a double ear infection <laughs> again. Uh, partially because we had run out of his allergy medication that he takes for seasonal allergies and now the weather is really weird here in New England and it is hot one day and cold the next day and he can't make up his mind so now and now we don't have any snow cover so all those like molds and mildews and gross that stay dormant when the snow is there and it's been so moist outside it's just come to life <laughs> in our yard and my cat is going to join me on the table, and I'd really appreciate it if he would not jump up on the counter right now. Let's start. Well, so long as he stays over there and not in my way, it will be fine. <laughs> Silly little cat. I don't know why you want up here. You don't usually come up here when we're cooking. Does it seem like a good idea to you? Does it seem like a good idea? We also moved his water dish today, and the dog ate his food because we left a dog gate open. So the cat's just, I feel think is feeling clingy. Because <laughs> he's disappointed in us, maybe. Yes. Nicely, thinly sliced today, because last night was chonky. And now we're going to do, because the peppers and onions go together anyway, so we're just going to put them together, because it says to add them at the same time until they're browned and tendered. And tonight, because I read the directions <laughs> before I started doing crazy things, I know that we're slicing this, so I'm not going to cut it in quarters. Because that makes it much more difficult to do this. I did chop the ends off, so that's nice and easy that it's not there. Oh, there's always that last one, though, that it's not quite the same, like, because it's that last piece, so it's like this little, mm, what you call it? Like, it's not quite big enough to cut the way you're cutting everything else. But it's not quite small enough to cut it like in a different way. Oop, oven just dinged. That's done. Oh, this onion, I've been apparently standing far enough away. It's not watering my eyes tonight. That's nice. My cat's now decided that he's going to be the, uh, I guess, the guardian of the laptop. 
that we have here on the other end of the island. There we go. That's all ready to go now. Nice. I have one big knife for that. I don't need that for drying anything anymore. So. Ugh. I have to soak bread again. So if you were here the other day and we made meatballs, my meatballs fell apart. I don't know why. And I was kind of a little frustrated. Okay. But, I mean, we'll see if this works out better this time. Okay. We're going to switch over here. Because it says to toss the potatoes on a baking sheet with a drizzle of oil. You're, they're using vegetable oil tonight. So I'm using my favorite brand. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of fry teaspoon seasoning two teaspoons if it was for four only a teaspoon they gave me a whole tablespoon well that's what it says I have to do the oil first though I do know that Ugh. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. I don't want to get too much, but I don't want too little because then the fry seasoning won't stick to anything. All right, so we'll do the drizzle of oil first. Oh, yeah, that was, like, just enough. Beautiful. And now we're going to do... Ugh. Now we're going to do the fry seasoning, which comes in this cute little packet. So they already pre-blended it for us. It has garlic, onion, and paprika. And it is good for a while, so if for some reason we weren't using all of it in here, it's good for like two years or something, which the spices, if they're in this kind of container, I don't think they really go bad. So, oh, we're using one teaspoon of this. Oop, come on. And we're going to smoosh that up a little bit. Get that really well marinated. Most of this is going in the oven night much to my wife's chagrin we don't have an oven cam yet <laughs> and she's downstairs trying to get on her role-playing server for her game all he here on um so she's not supervising tonight she didn't supervise last night but we've learned a lot from just that one night streaming by myself and now we're only on day three there was only one meal we didn't make live on camera this week because i just it just i needed to eat food and i didn't want the food to go bad before we filmed so these look like they're going to take a lot less time than the directions say because they're so small and then the picture they look a lot bigger <laughs> roast on top rack until browned and crispy it says 20 to 25 minutes i am not so sure about that <laughs> We're going to give it a whirl, though, and see if, you know, that's reality. I just don't feel that the potatoes are thick enough, big enough, long enough. Okay, let's go back over here. I need a bowl. I need one of these bowls. We're going to take this bowl. We're going to soak the bread. The American bread. So that's in there. They say to use two tablespoons of water. Break up with your hands until pasty, which is so weird. I guess this is just not the way that I've ever done this before for making meatloaf. It's always been done a little differently. I said to soak it. I probably should have soaked that <laughs> before I went to town trying to make it all pasty. Okay, that looks good. It's much firmer than the other day. The other day it was, I think there was, the soy sauce was just not the right thing for it. And now we need to 
Do, 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 do. Fun. We're going to put their hands until pasty. Add beef and remaining fries seasoning and a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, salt and pepper, our trusty little mills. Let's open this over the sink in case it decides to spurt anywhere. That's always the worst is spurting your, your meat juice all over your kitchen by accident. I think I just have to, maybe I have to leave the meat in there while I'm prepping everything else. Maybe that's my problem. We'll try that next time we make um, something that requires a ground beef. We'll try leaving it in until I absolutely need it instead of doing this um, process right now, which is get everything out that I need because it's not working as well. A uh, pinch of salt and pepper, remaining fry seasoning, which is right here. Hoop, there's that. I mean, I don't know why they would need salt and pepper in this, but I'm definitely going to rinse my hands off before I touch my pepper and salt mills. Ugh. That's the last thing we need. And we're gonna do that experiment of figuring out how much a pinch is. Who's saying things to me? Oh, I'm Benny Crocker. Hi, I'm Benny Crocker. And Jillian's here too watching. Um, she's downstairs. I'm glad you're over here. Welcome to making um, smothered and stuffed meatloafs. Though I don't think they're stuffed. I feel like they're not stuffed. According to these directions, I haven't come across anything about stuffed. Okay. Oh, I know why. I haven't read that next direction yet, but I think I, I think I know what they're doing. So they take, you're gonna, we're gonna form this into a different shape, obviously. <laughs> and oh, I need a pan for that too. Add. So we're gonna flatten these into two-inch thick rounds. No, two half inch thick rounds and then we're gonna divide the cheese what flatten into two half inch thick rounds cool reserve half the cheese for topping and divide remaining cheese between centers of each round we're only gonna have one round because we're only making one meatloaf there they are give you a sheet that's for either the two or the four so they have in like little brackets that says this is for this size. So let me get a pan out for this. I know I excessively wash my hands even though there's not, I'm, I just, I don't wanna get meat stuff all over the place. One thing I've learned in my brief existence of cooking is that parchment paper is your friend because then you don't have to clean up nearly as much. Some things it doesn't work out for, like if you have something in the oven too long, it doesn't work out, but there we go. Let's bring this over here, go to the stove, my meat. I should put the meat over here if I'm working on here. I got the meat. I need the cheese. Okay. Alexa, set a timer 15 minutes. Forgot to set a timer. That would not be great <laughs> if we burned the french fries. We are, what are we doing? So we're doing two half inch thick rounds. Oh, I gotta get better at this, determining what's half an inch. That looks, 
like half an inch, I guess, eh, maybe. Now I'm confused. Reserve half the cheese for topping. Divide remaining cheese between centers of each round. Fold edges of meat around cheese. I guess I am making two, I guess. It did say loaves, so they want it this thin because we're going to be putting the cheese in and then making it a little pocket to put where the cheese goes. That looks about right. Yeah. I mean, if it's wrong, it's wrong, right? <laughs> we learned a lesson. We learned a lesson. It's peppercorn or pepper jack, not peppercorn. Whew. That's a different thing. We do need some leftover for, I'd like a lot of cheese though, so. <laughs> We're having some in the middle and some on top. I have to remember that it does have a purpose for the other half of the bag. Though I feel like that's not quite half the bag. There we go. That's probably better. And then I have half of that. They give me two ounces of pepper jack. And then fold up. Yep, okay. So I'm folding these up to make and sealing it in according to these directions. I'm sealing this in. Like a little pocket. Might have to, there we go. That's better. Come in. Come in. Come in. That's. Looks like a little loaf. Look at that little loaf. Little loaf. They're super cute. I have to. Whoop, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is. This one isn't as pretty. But we're going to. We're going to mold it to make it look pretty. There we go. Look at those little loaves. Got to make sure it's all sealed in, though. We don't want anything sneaking out, though. It does say, don't worry if some of the cheese oozes out of your meat loaves while they're in the oven. It'll crisp on the baking sheet. Hello, accidental frico. Turning it toasty and extra delicious. So we have our two little loaves. We'll put this in the oven on the middle sheet. There we go. I'm probably gonna have to check on those um, potatoes. <laughs> Lestat's my cat, he's my baby. I love him so much. He's a character. He is a character. Okay, we're done with all the raw meat stuff. Now, oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, we're going to be going back there in a second to go make more things. But I wanted to finish reading all the directions. Bake on the middle rack for 20 minutes. Oh, I'm going to glaze them. Alexa, set a timer 20 minutes. And yes, I use Alexa. I need like little kitchen timers that I can just hit here so it's not me screaming across the room to the nearest Alexa. Okay, while meatloaves bake, heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium heat. Add the bell pepper and onion, cook stirring occasionally until browned and tendered. Uh, then add a couple tablespoons of water. Cook, stirring until water evaporated and veggies are tender. Season with salt and pepper, then stir in the butter until melted. So that takes about 10-ish minutes. It's, well, seven to eight, but 10-ish all together. Turn off heat and cover to keep warm. So now I have to make sure I have a pan that has a cover. <laughs> Which one are we gonna go with? That one gets too hot, I feel. We'll go with the bowl wrap today. Hi, honey. Hey. Does this one have a lid? Uh, no. So. That's fine. I just use a sheet pan on top. 
That works for me. Okay, back to the stove. We're gonna twirl these ingredients over here. So they're right next to this, so I can drizzle some oil in it. I don't know why certain recipes do olive and certain do vegetable. Is there a reason? The flavor profile. I know grape seed's supposed to have like no taste at all. Is that enough oil? No. Hi, Mom. That looks good. Right? And I am Betty Crocker is on there. I don't know. I may have mentioned it when he was on the counter. He topped on the counter, but he wasn't in the view of the camera so i was very thankful and he's been like wanting to be here while we're cooking what are you doing stealing the ingredients so it says medium high heat i'm gonna do just above medium on our stove because it does run really hot i don't want to you know sear them instantaneously we also have uh <laughs> you every once in a while you'll notice me moving this around our kitchen is not level. It was Our house was built in the late 1960s. It tends to pool because of how our this is. It tends to pool in this corner way over here. So every once in a while you might see me move oil around. This pan at least stays stable on this pan, on the stove where other ones don't. Mom says hi, Debbie. Wah, wah. <sighs> Waiting on the veggies. We're gonna glaze, by the way. We are going to glaze meatloaves. I'm just waiting for this oil to heat up, which it probably is now. Let me put a... Nope, not enough. That's me, a very oily onion I was thinking of making cookies tonight but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be up for that we'll see we'll see we'll see how that is because I can yeah but I was gonna make giant ginger cookies oh. sorry I mean I can make a different kind of cookie but I didn't want to make chocolate chip cookies I know they don't have to have chocolates, but I didn't want to make a chocolate chip cookie base, like a base cookie. That wasn't what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Oh, did you just switch cameras on me? No. Yeah, you're still over the store. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can. I can do that, I guess. You can be entertained by me on my close camera. Right now we're sauteing these. I know I'm supposed to like let them breathe or something. Let them let them be. What did Joe Soup say? Let them cook. Let them cook. Let them cook. I just I get worried when they get too brown. Mom says blueberry muffins. Oh, we don't have any blueberries for starters, so that's really not an option right now. And I was talking about the other day, I was t I think it was last night, but it was a very late stream due to life happening, that blueberry muffins, <laughs> I need to remember that I should be using wild main blueberries whenever possible. I also need to remember not to mound the cup of my vegetables, I mean not my vegetables, of my berries, because then... <laughs> It causes problems with your muffins falling completely apart the second you touch them. I'm glad I cut these. I cut these peppers uh, thinner today because last night I didn't like the crunchy ones. So you stole one already to eat it raw. Mm -hmm. Hey mom, remember to follow Megan's channel. 
I need a tablespoon. Betty Crocker, remember to follow Megan's channel. Whoever's listening, remember to follow. Betty Crocker, um, you sent me a friend request here on Twitch, but I didn't see a follow from you, so I don't know if it was a hit the wrong button or you were trying to really friend me. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure that you hit the right button. Friend requests are good, too. Friend requests are good, too. Yeah, Twitch is interesting. If you're not friends, you can't chat. In what? No, mine you can whisper. Oh, you can whisper? Okay. I don't have mine enabled for, I have mine enabled for strangers at the moment, but I usually don't friend people unless I know them or have been interacting with them for a while. Yeah. No. My general rule of thumb on any social media, just because uh, I've had problems in the past, so I don't yeah. my, just uh, willy-nilly friend people, like unlike my wife, yeah. who just is like, oh yeah, sure, I'll be for a friend. <laughs> yeah, that's not the case all the time, honey. You, you shop at places that I shop. You do pinball. Okay, I'll friend you. I need, what else do I need? Salt and pepper. And then the butter is here. So let me cut some butter. Thank you for... Uh, so, if you want me... I have to scrub them. I know that. Yes, you have to at least get them wet. And number two, you need to empty the garlic press the instant. <laughs> I'm Sorry. The garlic press after you. I didn't have to use garlic today, so I didn't clean the garlic press. Thank you for cleaning it, though. What do they say? I can't read it from here. I don't have supervision. She said uh, she's already a friend of yours. Um, no problem. I'm already a friend of yours. Related even. Related, even. I mean, I have many a guesses, but that doesn't mean anything. So I can start doing this as a job? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be filming seven days a week, so I'm going to get that one right quick. Yeah, but you still need to have a lot of affiliates. You need 50 oh, I know. Um, or you're not... I need to... So right now, I'll shout that out on right my yeah. Instagram because I have a whole bunch of people that really liked that flan that I posted. So... Well, I think you make your banana bread. <gasps> my banana bread. So, I still need to have a banana bread cook-off with a bunch of our friends because they're like my banana bread is the better banana bread and I'm like I've never had your banana bread and they're like well mine's better no matter what yeah you're exactly who I thought you were oh yeah watching from Randall oh yeah so that's, that narrows it down to three people that's your last name that's your screen name that's cute I like it Oh, that's adorable. Your phone's pinging? Because that doesn't sound like my phone. No, that's my phone. Let it cook. I don't like that. When they turn brown and tender, I'm supposed to add some water until it's evaporated. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> it takes so long. I'm just hoping we I don't burn the potato wedges. Because they're smaller than they look in the picture. The, um, the interesting thing here, I think, is going to be if you... Um, what do you call it? If we put a timer on the screen and compare the directions... The oh my gosh, that would be amazing. So another one of our friends does this kit and has been doing it for like a year, I guess, which I should have used her affiliate code, her like little code so she'd get credit to get free stuff or credit towards her purchases. And she says that no matter what, it takes her an hour. I had it turned down and then it wasn't hot enough, so... Uh, they're supposed to turn brown. Yeah. It looks, 
I mean, they used a cast iron pan, but I didn't. Um, oh, we have plenty of cast iron. I can use the enamel one that has a chip in it. You know that. It came in like that, didn't it, from Amazon? Oh, it has a chip in it. <laughs> I didn't touch it. It was on the shelf because when was the last time we used that one? Because we use our, we have two everyday pans. We have a square one and a round one. And the square one is mostly for bacon. Mostly. mostly. Give or take. Um, can you go on my page and friend them then? The I am Betty Crocker, please. It should be pending in my requests. Yeah, we'll do it after. Okay, that's fine. They still need to follow. <laughs> you need 50 followers and only have three. People follow. Right? Hey, I have three. Yes, you do. One of them is me. Yeah, well, I was one of your first ones. <laughs> that makes sense. I appreciate the follow, honey. The restaurant has Oh, yeah? Good. We'll start doing some stuff from there. Oh, we have uh, uh, some cool events coming up there. I'll have to update the calendar. I have to actually do that when I get off tonight. I have to update the calendar for some things. What kind? You don't want cookies? You don't want? You make whatever you want. I will eat whatever you want. Will you? I don't know. You didn't have a piece of that flan. Well, no, yeah. You can make it while I was almost asleep. Can you timer check? I should have two timers, but you should be able to just touch the screen and they both show up, I think. Oh, well, that's for the thing in the oven. <laughs> Those look done, or should I flip them and put them back in? Okay, I need a spatula, please. I don't. Spatula. Flip these over. Well, ish. Some may not flip in the opposite direction. There we go. That's not bad, right? Yes. You got six minutes on the other timer. Okay, that's for the meat loaves to meat top the meat loaves. So if I put these in, they'll come out around the same time. Good. I need to get a better pot holder. This is not a good hot pot holder for that pan. I don't know. Peppers don't cook the same as onions. And I said last night, I was like, I should. I should put the peppers in before I put the onions. The peppers seem to take longer. And I thought the change in thickness would make a difference, and I don't think it really has. Oh, it does. I mean, it's too cooked I should probably add that water now, huh? Or do you think they're not soft enough? It says... Peppers are evil. Will they keep cooking when I cover them? Yeah. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. well, the overhead cam position. The overhead cam. Oh, you're going to... So people can see what potentially burned onions look like? dancing <laughs> okay I'll add that water because they seem to be good you let the water evaporate oops that's a little too much I almost got water all over the kitchen oh
I will need one in a minute, but not right away. I have to put the butter in. Thank you. Think of our manch. Oh, that looks much better. Like, they just needed some moisture. <laughs> moisture, right? Yeah, that looks... Water's evaporated. Oh, there's smoke in the kitchen. Heads up. There's smoke in the kitchen. Smoke alarm. Silence in the kitchen. Oh, silly little thing in the ceiling. It was just some steam, but it can sense what heat, right? A little bit? It senses flashing. Oh, yeah, that was definitely a flash. Yep. Darn smart smoke detectors. I mean, they're very efficient. And also has the carbon monoxide in it too, right? I appreciate that. Yeah, no, no death. Should I just leave it on the stove after I turn it off? I'll just push it to the back. For a hot minute. Push it to the back for a hot minute. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it real good. Oh, God. 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 My brain's a little tired, so don't mind me. What else are we doing today? What are you trying? What are you reading? Tell me. Did it tell you when mom visits? Because mom's. Set it off, Mom. Ooh, meanwhile, in a small bowl. Okay. We can go back over here. You need a small bowl? Like this side bowl? Uh, sure. We're making some glaze. Combine the mustard. I switched to that one. Oh, sorry. Oh, God, why? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> so Dijon mustard. Well, if this starts to really pan out for you, we'll mount the TV. Good, so I don't have to, like, crane my neck. Oh, well. Um. That needs to be cleaned up. Let me hand you a paper towel. That'd be great. Oh, gross. I just wanted, I need three tablespoons of ketchup. You the of oh, you know what? I was going to get the ketchup first and have you deal with it. There you go. You do love me. And then two tablespoons. Alexa, stop. Let me take those out of there because we're going to put them back in in just a second, but we have to coat them. And I'm going to take these out as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good. Thank you. Thank you. You can put it away now. I don't need it anymore. I'm not to get on camera. Oh, because you have. <laughs> that's the first swear that's been on this channel today. Can you, can you hand me a uh, spoon, please? A uh, tablespoon? Or smaller? I don't care. Well... Oh, I was going to, I'll come around. Okay. You're so weird. 
Oh, it tells you if you don't have brown sugar, you can swap it with white sugar, but that's not the same. Oh, oh, I read that direction wrong. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take some of that out. <laughs> What'd you take out? Oh, nothing. Like a whole bunch of brown sugar. <laughs> Um, it called for two teaspoons, and I put in two tablespoons, so I just took out, like, an entire tablespoon. Oh, that would have been sweet. Okay, we're going to, it says, we're going to brush tops of the meatloafs with the ketchup glaze and then sprinkle with the melted cheese. So let's put some of the glaze on. Brush, spoon, you know, it's all relative. It gets the job. I was looking for other tongs when I was out shopping earlier. And we have those little rubberized things too. You know? Rubberized things? What yeah, are you talking about? Um... I have no idea what you're talking about. These things. Oh, yeah, but, e okay, so I explained this earlier on the channel. If I don't have to do another extra dish, and yes, I understand you're doing the dishes, but if we don't have to do more dishes than we have to, which is why I don't like using bowls unless I have to, because I try did that when we first started, and the amount of dishes I made was astronomical. And I understand it's like a little cooking show, but I explained earlier that the reason why I'm doing this is to also try to figure out like which one's the most economical and which one's the most feasible for sustainability and all that. And like basically, you know, yes, they give me a whole bunch of packets of things, but I was, if I eat at fast food places, which I was doing a lot, I end up with more packets than what they're giving me because at fast food places, they give you just like a giant handful of things instead of a little bit of things. Now we're putting this back in for doo -doo, how long? Just a couple minutes. Bake me gloves and cook, cook through and cheese is melted three to five minutes-ish. Oh, you ordered me a just meat a little, thermometer? Just a chrome one. Like it's, that was on That's, the last That time. is terrific. Did you order a good one? Yeah. yeah so we've killed all our meat thermometers. And I'm, I think a couple may have put, been put through the dishwasher by people that were staying with us and, and, and died. So, oops. Top meatloaves with veggies. I'm sorry, I'm not putting them on top of my veggies on the meatloaves. I will put it on the side. So... Oh, I mean, they can hear you. <laughs> Is there a difference if I'm moving around, depending on where we are, of how I sound, apparently? She wants to know. This good size plate, or should I go up a plate? Yeah. I guess. yeah. <clears throat> Making my plates. There's also some extra salt. Salt. Putting the stuff away. So I don't know if these are going to be warm anymore. Yeah. Okay. They have a fry seasoning on them. That's pretty good. Oh, I didn't know what camera you had me on. So. I just switched. Thank you. I appreciate that. I get confused. It's very confusing. Mom says it sounds good. Good. Yeah, we'll work on camera angles and things because that's the biggest thing. We already changed uh, this one a little bit to make it a little more feasible for the kitchen. Okay, we're trying to make it so Megan can do this on her own, so the switchers. So I have a cute little button panel Which right means there. That I don't have a cute little button panel. For oh, stuff, no, maybe. you don't have a cute little button panel. And I don't have, I don't have my cameras for my pinball anymore either. When was the last time? Oh, you streamed what? Like. Now I'm just waiting <sighs> for it to melt. Yeah. But I can't tell all the time through the 
door if they're done or not. But I'll start plating my the wedges, which I was talking to someone earlier today. I've mentioned here that we need like a two and a half or three person meal kit because you can't just cut people's calories like that. Well, I mean, I mean you can, but it's not the best way to lead a healthier lifestyle is to shock your system. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Lee Alert follows. Oh, yay! Hi, Lee! Which place am I? Uh, this one, I guess, because I already ate some. I got this really cute Pusheen oven mitt from my little box and it works really well for like taking things in and out but not for sustained holding. <laughs> so I learned that. So now I need to remember that's a thing. Hey, when's the next time you're going to be up in the New Hampshire area? Soon, I would think. March? Lee could, Lee could help me make like some like confection of yeah. some sort. That would be fun. That or we're going to make soap. You could make soap. I mean. But I think she took all her soap making stuff. Oh, that's right. So. I have, though I do have a lot of parchment paper and I greatly appreciate that because that is really heavy and does not ship cheaply. So I have a ton of it. Why, well, yes. And I'm excited. It's wood. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, yes. Shush. Shush. Ooh, they look good. They need to be a little bit more browned, though. Not by much. Just a little bit. But let's... You like you like the peppery-looking things, right? The caramelized? Yes. Caramelized is sugar. I like sugar. I said the peppery things. Oh, the, the onions are really good. I, I don't deny the onions. But the... I don't know. Peppers just aren't my jam. Aren't my jam. I've never had they, it exists. I'm sure it does. Wanna, yeah. Yeah, Lee, whoever thought I'd be the assistant in my own kitchen. <laughs> I'm learning to cook. It's so exciting. I learned so much. What? Oh, sorry. I thought you could still do it over there. No, I have to get to it. So, so far, I put a lot of vegetables on yours <laughs> and not a lot on mine. But so far, this is what it looks like. Do you want me to zoom in? Sure. I just want my nails in it because I haven't done my nails in a while. Someone come and do my wife's nails. Christine! She has Christine's nail polish. I do. I have both versions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. But I'm just waiting for the tops of the meatloaves to, like, brown up. Because they're really super cute and they're like melty, but I was hoping they'd be a little toasty on the top. Why is the camera weird? Oh, you zoomed in on me? I did, and now I'm not. Now I'm not. Alright, mom said check the meat, but you just did. I did. It would have been really sweet if I had kept those two tablespoons in there. <laughs> so you're going to do some cookies or something later today? I think I'm going to do, yeah, I, um, it won't be right now because I like to eat and process and stuff and relax a little bit and my Renee is on right now and I'm not watching her. God forbid. God forbid. Oh, I got you some things last night though. You know how much you love her rompers. And everyone on the channel was like, oh my God, I'm a size blah, blah, blah. I don't want to try a romper. And I was like, look, this is my wife and this is her size and she loves rompers, specifically Renee's rompers. So. I'm hungry. When's the meat going to be done? Okay. It can be done anytime now. See, that's the little bit of brownness I wanted. Yeah, that's See, that, that little bit of brown before it was just melted, and that was not good. And then, look, it has a little, only a little bit oozed out. I'm kind of impressed. So 
let me put these on a plate. Which one do you want? I think the one closer to me was that one. The one with the four. No, no, but oh, I don't care. I don't care. Well, you can get the one that doesn't look cute. Sure. I get, I'll get the cute little one. Yes, you do. So that one's mine. Look at that. Do you want a knife? Oh, I didn't remember to turn this light on last oh, night. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't. That could help. Uh, yes, I would love a knife. I went to Home Goods last night. Uh, I was looking for tongs specifically, but they only had like tong sets with one long one and one short one, and they had one that was by itself. But it wasn't really, it wasn't really my favorite. Oh no, don't want that one. Don't want this one, right? Yep. Oh, you're gonna give me my me and my baby. Like Here, have some dinner. I'm sorry. Did you not eat lunch today? <laughs> I think I don't know if I'm eating today. Uh, Hold on, I need to figure out how to do a reveal I'll, shot. I'll zoom in for you. Hang on. Look at that. Yeah, Look at it. it's gonna, stuffed with right cheese. Right in here with Megan. Look down that. her shirt there. Hey. That well, wasn't intentional. Look, it's completely stuffed with cheese, and then you're supposed to like put the onions and stuff on top of it. But I didn't. Doesn't that look good? That does look good for me. That does. Now these meal kits aren't as hard as the other local basket ones. Or the local basket ones are made for real chefs. Made for people that kind of know how to cook. When I first started doing them, man, there were so many things that I was like, what do you mean? Blah, blah, blah. And then I learned that there's like a hundred different words for different types of slicing, slicing and dicing. It's like mince and cube and, and what is it? Julianne and like all these other things. No, I'm not feeling the pepper. I didn't feel the peppers last night either. The peppers, good peppers. I mean, they're fine. They've also been in a fridge for, since su Friday. Not a good pepper. That's a fine pepper. I didn't eat any. I like ate a couple last night and then I shoved them all to the side because I was not impressed. Mm. I think I wish they had sent me a little more fry sauce, the fry um, mm. packet. Because I really like it. I mean, it's simple enough to make. It was paprika, garlic, and onion powders. Like, it wasn't anything dramatic. I like how there's so much cheese and it's pepper jack, but it's not like super crazy pepper mm, jack. Nice. It's like just enough of a difference. There wasn't salt and pepper every other second in this recipe either. That was nice. Because every step last night had salt and pepper in it. Literally every step. Hi, Angie. You don't eat my food. Angie's our dog. He's a pug. He does not get human food. Unless for some reason it falls on the floor while he, we are cooking. Sometimes he'll get to sneak it that way. Andy, in in look up here. This way. But he does get ice cubes. That's the only human food he gets. And he thinks it's the best thing in the world because he's like, oh my gosh, I can do the thing. Mm. Yeah, I have to ask. Said ice cubes right before you did. I have to ask um, my sister if my nephew can stream with me this weekend because he's going to be visiting. Oh, yeah. And that'd be fun. Otherwise, we'll do cooking projects with him. I'll probably make, like, cookies or something with him as a separate um, thing that I do exciting with him. But I might not make the meal kit with him, though I think he would enjoy it. Mm. The next two meal kits are really good. Now, these are local baskets. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes. Much harder to make. Yes, more expensive too. Sure. But local basket, which by the way, pa basket is spelled B A S K I T because it's a basket. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's only New Hampshire. They try to stay as local as possible. There's a couple things that are exceptions from time to time, like their honey. 
But this week we ordered, which I'm glad I didn't make something, make pork chops and pears because cast iron pork chops with roasted pears and sage. Pork chops. I know, and I was like, I don't understand. Jamie Oliver, when he had Naked Chef, did a great pork chop parsnip. I love him. He got yeah. so discouraged when he was trying to help kids eat better. Yeah. Because <sighs> they're American kids. That... Yeah. And now, Pe- that was Purdue, yeah, that was really good. That show was amazing. Now, Purdue has chicken nuggets that have vegetables in them. Mm-hmm. And instead of doing, like, it's still the same chicken mush, I'm sure, <laughs> that Jamie Oliver was trying to get away from. But the other local basket is Guinness Marinated Buffalo Steak Sandwiches. Oh, yeah, hold on, because they do all local um, or, like, organically sourced and stuff. Oh, the, the pork trucks are boring, packaged boring. But this is by, um, packaged for Yankee Farmer's Market, LLC, Buffalo Bison, New York Strip Steak, um, based in Warner, New Hampshire, is where they got it from. Hold on, let me... But it's all natural, minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. Beautiful. It looks gorgeous. But we're going to do the pork chops first because I like to do the pork. Pork and chicken I like to do first just because I get wary about, you know, time in my fridge. Mmm. Yeah, it is dinner with Megan. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Mm. Um, I do have a Twitter and an Instagram. Both is muffin underscore lives. And then I have a YouTube that these videos will be going to. I have to do like some little quirky edits in order to get them up there uh, and actually be functional. <laughs> uh, but that one is Upbeat Duck. Here's Upbeat Duck. And, uh, yeah. Don't beat up a duck. Why would you beat up a duck? Mm. I'm going to use this sauce to dip my potato wedges in. Because it has extra fry sauce in there. I'm telling you, the, um, the meatloafs are amazing. They really are good. I like these. Yeah. They're good. They're, they're just a piece of white bread mixed with some meat. See, I don't and you put the cheese on it. <coughs> I usually go for uh, breadcrumbs. That's what, mm. that's what mom and I always do is breadcrumbs. We never did. I can't remember how my family did it. I, mean, I don't know. I know a lot of people do meatballs that way. I can't remember. And my sister isn't on here, and I know my mom isn't on here, so I don't know. I'll have to find out. Start some exciting recipe journeys. Sounds good to me. But you could also cook through some of Connie's um, cooking cookbooks. Yes, no, um, there's the... Um, that was one of the cookies I was going to make was one that I made. Oh, yeah. So I have this cookbook, 20 Years of Friendships and Cookies. Every single year, my grandmother hosted a cookie party up until, oh my gosh, only like four. Four years ago, three, four years ago. Have four. Yeah, would know. Yes. Um, but this one's from 1986 to 2006. And so the cookie that I was going to make tonight that I might still make tonight. Now, everybody noticed that this book is backwards. My mom is awesome. So she's the one that printed these because we had some, like, photo. It was, uh, it was like a graphic design program, but, like, back in the day, a graphic design program. And she put it backwards because I'm left-handed. And she did every single page she printed opposite to everybody else's so that I could function better because it bothers my hand. 
um, reading the other way. Like notebooks, all my notebooks, I would flip them around in order to use them. So, but yes, I was going to make my giant molasses cookies that I made in 2006. And I've made, I made a few more after that, obviously, but that's the last one that was in that book. And there's some things I was talking about, my pork loin, my infamous, I was just out of college. Hey, uh, there's some things in a, um, one of my Southern cookbooks, the pork loin that you love so much, the stuffed pork loin. But I said I was going to make it like from start to finish, like the sun-dried tomato scones first and then really do it the way it's supposed to be because I have used biscuits from like one of the local places around here, like just a regular grocery chain that are dry enough to put in them and be the consistency it's supposed to be because I tried some other stuff and that didn't work out. It was not as the same. Um, yeah, make sure to follow me. I will be on later to make some kind of confection. It may not be too much later, but I do need to do some things and get some stuff accomplished around the house, like switch my laundry, which should be done to switch in like eight minutes uh, so that we have sheets for tonight on our bed. Like yeah, she like, I don't know. She like likes that kind of stuff, but I'm really excited about the next two meals. Those should be fun. They're also much more complicated. Uh, <laughs> Oh, this involves grilling, according to this, but it's the wrong, wrong thing. Oh, that's the one for tomorrow. You're just going to, that's tomorrow. Cast iron, pork chops. I mean, we're going to take pictures of it. Yeah, we're going to take pictures of it. And that's not tonight. Yes, tonight's, you have a button if you want to put tonight's Yeah, let's put up tonight's. Oh, it's over here. Instructions. So that's tonight. Thank you. I'm having fun. And I find that I'm doing more cooking because I am interacting instead of just by myself. Uh, and Jillian's not allowed in the kitchen with me. So. What are you going to go for? But I was shoving stuff in my face. Mm hmm but thank you everyone have a good night I will see you later whack whack how do I end it